Surprise? I guess. Bolo! All right, so before I get started, let me go ahead and just say this. There is two things that this thing does not have. It does not have an internal battery, and it does not have speakers. But you can definitely travel with it, though. You can do that. Now, a lot of y'all have been in my inbox and been in my DMs and was asking me what this thing was, how it works, is it super portable, what is it? And I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion. Okay, my one opinion out of 8 billion people in this world, I'm going to say that this thing is basically an MPC one plus with keys on it, but it does have a few extras as well. Number one, this unit comes with 32 gigs of internal storage. And once you download your instruments and stuff on here from Makai, you can actually save it to the internal storage. You were not able to do that on the other devices, but on this one, you can do it. This also has direct MIDI control over USB to your DAW, so you can go ahead and handle all the MIDI stuff inside of your DAW with this board, okay? So it works just like a controller or whatever else you need. It comes updated day one, so you don't have to worry about doing any major updates. Everything comes updated with it, unless you like bought it later on down the road, if you're watching this video like, uh, a long time from now. And Akai added in a voucher for one premium coupon with a product purchase and registration of the device. So let's talk about the layout. This layout is pretty much the same as the MPC Key 61, but it is a little bit different because it is a smaller unit. Now, if you know how to use any MPC from even back in the day to even all the new units, you won't have any problems because everything is pretty much just the same. The menu on the screen is the same. Everything is the same. Now, the pads are smaller. They are the same size pads that are on the MPC Key 61. And the menu on the right side of the board is a little bit different, but they have a lot of those buttons that you know you can double press and get into different menus and move around on the board is not hard at all. And to be honest, I'm actually kind of cool how they got everything set up on the board. They had to compact things down a little bit and they had to move certain buttons to you know make it make sense. So I'm not mad with how they actually placed a lot of stuff on this actual unit. Now the pads are the same size pads on the MPC Key 61 and on the MPC One Plus. Same pads, same feel. The key bed feels good, feels just like the MPC Key 61. No difference, full size keys, nothing different. But hey, how y'all like that red finish? That red finish looks kind of good now. Now in the back of the unit, it has all of your standard hookups. It has your pedal hookups. It has your standard MIDI in and MIDI out. It has your CV gate hookups as well. It comes with a headphone jack. Of course, it has your main outputs. It has your quarter inch inputs for, you know, sampling and stuff like that. Your record volume knob, your SD card slot, your USB inputs, and of course, your power jack. You're gonna need power with this one. No battery, no battery. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the whole unit in a nutshell. Now, how much does this thing cost? Right now, you can go ahead and get this unit for $899, $900. That's how much it costs. And of course, if you wanted to get this unit, you can go ahead and uh, click that link in the description and go ahead and order it now. Yeah, click that link right now. But I think it is very fair for something to be basically like an MPC One Plus with keys on it. You know, hey, 900 bucks, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. Now, do I wish that it would have came with a battery and maybe some speakers? That would have been dope. But, you know, I'm not mad at the unit because I understand that this is basically just a condensed version of the Key 61. Now this is kind of cool because for 900 bucks, you get a full 37 key workstation and you don't need nothing else because it comes with sounds, you can add your samples into it and it's basically, like I said, an MPC one with keys. So you don't have to add any other keyboards or MIDI controllers or nothing like that to it. You can just go to work on it, just like that. So in my opinion, who is this for? Number one, if you do not have a MPC unit 
and you don't want to get one of the bigger units and you don't want to just get the MPC one plus and have to buy like different MIDI controllers, this is for you. Reason being is you can just get an all in one unit and you don't have to worry about nothing else. Also, this is for people who like to travel and who don't want to pick up the full MPC key 61. All right. So, you know, your boys got to be honest. If you guys have like an MPC X or an MPC X special edition, and you are somebody who likes to travel and you do not have an MPC one or MPC one plus, or even an MPC live two, this would be a great choice for you. That's if you don't have the MPC live two, the MPC one or the MPC one plus, this will be great for you because you can take this on the road with you, leaves a small footprint, it's cool. It doesn't have all the features that the MPC Live has, you know, like speakers, an internal battery, you know, like to really make it portable. However, you know, this is like three to $400 more, brand new. Looking at the unit, it would have been very hard to put speakers in here. Maybe it could have been portable, but Seems cool to me, but this is definitely a traveler's workstation because you're not gonna need anything else. You can load all your samples in there. It comes with sounds. You can add more sounds to it from Akai. So it's it's actually pretty cool for 900 bucks. And this thing fits perfectly on my Argosy Halo desk. Look at that. Perfect fit underneath my laptop. Man, that thing looks good. I like that. Now I know you guys are gonna ask about the sound. How does it sound? It sounds just like all the other units. It sounds good. All right, so there it is, the MPC Key 37. This thing is actually pretty dope. If you guys wanna go ahead and get it, go ahead and click that link in the description. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.